Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about long-term investments. And I'm going to talk to you about investments as a whole again. And I'm going to focus on a few companies which have made it, uh, who've made enormous wealth for its, uh, for, for its shareholders. I'm going to talk about, the first company I'm going to talk about is Wipro. Wipro is one of India's in information technology titans. It was started by the famous Azim Premji way back in the 1970s. In 1980, Wipro's stock went public. When I say it went public, that meant that Wipro went to the stock market to sell its shares so that it could get external capital to build the company. But the IT industry at the same time saw a huge boom coming. Today, one investment worth 10,000 done in the stock of Wipro would have yielded over 800 crores for your small investment of 10,000 rupees. In fact, it pays you dividends over 7 crores a year if you held on to that stock. So it's created enormous wealth for its shareholders. So now, you know, how do we find the other Wipros? What, what, what should you look at? Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about a few mistakes which I made by investing in the wrong sectors or the wrong stocks way back when I was starting to invest. Um, I invested in this stock called Mozabair. For people who know, Mozabair was huge in the time when CDs and DVDs were being sold as storage devices across the country. Mozabair's stock at its peak had touched 250 rupees. The market cap was over a few thousands of crores. It was doing really well. It had distribution, it had created a brand name. It was beating Sony at some of the things which it was doing because it went low cost and it was able to penetrate India's uh, you know, cost sensitive market. But it did not change its way of how they went from CDs to pen drives. It did not transition. And today the Mozabai stock is less than 10 bucks. I had invested this at a little bit more than 10 rupees and I did not get my investment back unless the company does a restructuring and enters into a place where it can make wealth again for its shareholders. At this point of time, the Mozabai stock is not doing as well or because its main business suffered because it could not transition. My point being that we should invest in companies or industries which change very, very, very little. An example is the food industry. Of milk product or milk by, its, by itself, Will not will not change, or be, I can't envisage it changing drastically over the years as the consumption reduces, or a substitute comes for milk. There could be soy milk, almond milk, which can come up, but milk at its natural state will sell around the world for the quality it is. You can sell it over the over e-commerce, you can sell it on in the mom and pop shops, but eventually invest in businesses which see less change. If you want to invest in companies which see a big change. And then you must be that active to keep going and reading, researching, and you have to be on the tip of your toes to understand how the industries across the world are reacting. Another example which comes to mind is the automobile industry. Uh, the automobile industry is a very, 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 diff a very fascinating story. If I can, if I can tell you, Henry Ford started in in the early 1900s, revolutionized the industry by creating the assembly line. When he was able to create the assembly line, he was Till today, be able to get the cost of mass-produced cars down by 600%. And it created the suburban network because now people could afford a house far from the city. It was able to create so many industries people didn't know. But everyone rushed to invest in the automobile industry because it was a new big thing. Detroit was considered as an automobile capital of the United States in large as the world. Today, Detroit is bankrupt because too much money came in. Cars did their job of replacing the horse carriages. However, they were not able to compete with each other at that scale. The German car companies did much better. Now today we have Korean car companies, we have a Japanese car company which does phenomenally well. But the American car companies could not compete with the level of money which was poured in because every other company went into making cars. So whenever a new industry comes in, if you're looking at Today we're looking at a change in the fintech industry. If you look at crypto, there has been a huge change which has come in. And that change has led to a lot of cu currencies 
coming up. But however, the few ones are still dominating the market. So always remember this, that whenever you want to invest in a newer thing, a newer space, you have to be quick. You have to ensure that you get a, a decent return and you can pull your money out at the right time. But the theme of my lecture series will mostly revolve around long-term investment. So uh, food for thought, invest in industries which don't change. The education industry has seen a boom in the last few years when it's gone from edu from 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 nascent learning on in a class to class setup to now being to, to it being learned online. However, the education industry is still doing the same thing but just delivering it online. There hasn't been a change in the product per se. It has been it has been able to reach many more people. The reach of the few companies has increased and has been able to diversify its 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 presence by not keeping it restricted to a to a local classroom like it did in the previous days so fantastic space to invest in again please do your research before you invest in any of these companies this is just a thought process which i have whenever i'm looking at looking at stocks companies or industries to invest in i always look at susceptible they are to change so my theme of investments will be around long-term investment as, as as a general concept however i will give you the short anecdotes and stories which will help you understand how to invest or not to invest what are the do's and the don'ts uh, if you enjoyed watching this video please hit the subscribe button it'll help it'll help you give a notification every single time you know we release a new video thank you so much for watching this